Welcome to another episode of Eric Espinoza's Hustle 101. What you're looking at is some of my glass gem corn I grew this season, uh, which is part of today's lesson. Spotting trends before they happen. I saw a picture of this glass gem corn on Reddit about two years ago, and then I instantly searched the message boards for anybody who could get me some of these seeds. I immediately found a guy, bought everything he had, and I only had a 4x4 four four square, so I planted um, what I could, you know, the size of a pallet to grow on. Um, but I came up with a bunch of corn cobs. Um, this is what I'm going to list this year. This is my haul um, from my glass gem corns. Um, it's my second year growing them. Last year I did pretty good. Um, here's some of my invoices from last year. Uh, here's my listing for 300 seeds. Um, I sold these as entire corn cobs because some people were selling like loose, loose kernels. But then you don't know whether they actually came from there or not. And um, I think they're more beautiful staying on the cob. Some people don't even want to plant them or, you know, they just want to decorate the house with them. I don't know. I'm I'm not a fan of them. I like selling them. <laughs> but um, they sold better. Um, that one sold for 30 This one to Japan sold for 30 Another cob sold to L.A. for $30. Um, Singapore, $30. Uh, Mississippi another well that one was one of my first ones i put it on auction and they got a deal they got it for 550 <laughs> um montana 20 dollars. i mean i sold uh, i'd say about 30 cobs um last year for about 20 to 30 dollars so that netted me somewhere around 500 dollars profit from the growing space the size of a pallet um, all because I saw a trend coming up. People were going to go nuts for these, you know, corn cobs. And um, I was right, and it paid off. Now I'm trying to breed a specific type. I'm trying to plant the baby blue and pink corn kernels. As you can see, my this season's are going pretty, pretty much in that direction. You see a lot of blues and pinks. A lot of blues and pinks. And, um... I'm going to sell these. I'm going to find some seeds that are the bluest and the pinkest and the glassiest. And uh, try again next year. Maybe we'll come out with something prettier. Um, but, yeah. Take this as a lesson. Again, spot the trends before they happen. You have to be a hipster before the hipsters know about it. Alright, remember to subscribe. I'll have another episode next week. And, um... Good luck out there.